Welcome to the video on how to identify customer returns and understand customer feedback. Product returns are an expected part of the customer experience. As a result, they can have a significant impact on customers trusting you as an Amazon selling partner. There are two simple steps to follow. Step one is identifying customer returns. Step two is checking feedback. Let's first discuss where you can find the customer return information. Whether you are a Merchant Fulfilled Network or MFN seller, or Fulfillment by Amazon or FBA seller, you can find a list of returned FBA items in your Manage FBA Returns dashboard. You can find the Manage FBA Returns dashboard in your seller account. To access the dashboard, go to the Inventory tab, choose Inventory Planning from the menu, and click on Manage FBA Returns. Here are a few tips for reading and using the reports to help you identify returns and improve return rates. 1. Choose a time period that is long enough to capture trends when you request the reports. Customers typically have 30 days to return items, and 2 to 6 months of data allow you to see trends. 2. You should review your Voice of Customer dashboard on Seller Central to get customer feedback, customer experience, or CX, health metrics, and information on emerging product and listing issues across all your offers. Find the Voice of Customer dashboard under the Performance tab in your seller account. 3. You should also review the CX health breakdown of your listing to identify offers that are trending poorly in your subcategory. The CX health bar can help you identify offers that are performing poorly. 4. Using the See Details button, you can access the details for a specific ASIN. Look for the Return Reason Code breakdown and corresponding customer feedback for the previous 30 days. Customer feedback includes return comments and product reviews. You can also look for trends within the Return Reason Code distribution. For example, if the return reason code distribution between too small and too large has a big imbalance, your sizing might be incorrect or wrongly communicated. It is important to understand the second best practice, understanding customer feedback. Reading and answering customer questions can help reduce returns by helping you understand what information customers need that may be missing from a product's detail page. Frequently checking reviews can also help. Check customer satisfaction data after each purchase. Use this feedback to take steps to help avoid returns in the future. Filter reviews by the worst ratings first to see what's having the biggest impact on customers. Address these first. Thank you for taking this training on identifying customer returns and understanding customer feedback. Please remember to rate and review this video so that we can continue building useful content.